earth and the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth and the sea or the trees till we have sealed the servants of God on their foreheads. This is how you stand. This is the answer to the question, who is able to stand? You moan and sigh over the abominations done in the city of Jerusalem, which means a lot more than re watching the news and being like, God, I just don't want that to happen. It means that we moan and sigh over the fact that the only hope for the city of Jerusalem is Jesus. That we moan and sigh over the fact that until Israel repents and accepts him, he's not coming back. That's what he said in Matthew 23. We moan and sigh over the fact that we can't possibly accept Israel to do that, expect Israel to do that. If we won't do it, we got the Holy Spirit inside of us. And then that leads us to, wait a second, why won't I do that? What is my issue? What are my fears? What's my shame? What's my anger? What's my self-righteousness? And all of a sudden we realize, oh, he's going to get a pure spotless bride just by looking at why he's not dwelling in Jerusalem. That's the whole point. So we look at him and we say he's the only answer, not just for us, but for this city. And we moan and sigh how he's not. And then we have to come to the realization he wants back in the garden more than we want him. Why won't he come? And it's because we don't really want him. There's so many areas we don't want him. There's so many areas Jerusalem doesn't want him. And he prophesied in Matthew 23. He says, you won't see me again until you say you want me. Until you say, blesses you, comes in the name of the Lord. And so we can't give her money and get her to say, I want Jesus. If we give her money, she's going to say, I want the United States. If we give her a weapon, she's going to say, I want Jesus. She's going to say, I want the United States. If we stop giving her weapons, she, if you look at the news, she turns to Russia or she turns to another neighbor. But what we should be doing is, is saying, Israel, my testimony, my personal testimony is nobody can save me from the problems God has set up to get me to repent and come near to him. In fact, those have always made it worse. The only thing that makes a difference is me admitting I need God and that he likes my weakness because he likes to be my strength. And you know what, Israel? I learned that from your history. I learned that from your ancestors, that he likes it when I'm weak and he's strong. So loving you is not giving you more strength in the flesh. Loving you is giving you a testimony that all oh, my strength is rags. It doesn't work. And if we are willing to do that, then God is willing to move our testimony to Israel supernaturally. This is what was happening in Acts 2. Those disciples, they didn't go out into the city of Jerusalem. They were in the upper room telling God how they 